Right. So, uh, this is a functions and iteration question here. So, first thing we need to do is we need to show that this equation equals to has a solution to be 0 and 1. But I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to 2x cubed plus 4x. I'm just going to rearrange this. And I'm going to test the value of x as 0. And I'm going to test the value of x as 1. And one of the answers, if there is a solution between them, one of the answers is still given as 0. It means one of this is going to be as below this, a negative answer, and one of them is going to be as above 0, a positive answer. So let's find f of naught. That just means let's substitute uh, naught for x. So 2 lots of naught cubed plus 4 lots of naught minus 3. So what have we got? Uh, 2 lots of naught is naught plus 4 lots of naught is naught. We get lots of minus 3. If I do the same thing for 1, uh, I'm going to do 2 lots of 1 cubed this time. That's 4 lots of 1, and then take off 3. So I'm just substituting 1 into this equation here. And I get 2 lots of 1 cubed is 2, plus 4 lots of 1 is 4, take off 3, gives us 6 minus 3, which is plus 3. So one of the answers is uh, positive, one of the answers is negative. So one's a positive answer, one's a negative answer. So uh, a change of sign. So means, so we've sat we've gone from a negative number to a positive number. It could have been the other way around means that there is a solution. Now we don't know what that solution is, but we know it's between 0 and 1. It might be a decimal answer, but it's, it's going to be that decimal answer, but it's between these two. And the reason we know that is because this is what's called a continuous function. So this is continues. It's nice smooth if you draw it on a curve, uh, on a graph, it would be a nice smooth curve. So one bit of the graph is going to be below, another bit is going to be above, and we know that therefore it joins up between somewhere between them, it's going to cross the x axis. All we need to do is show there's a change of sign. Second bit, to show that this can be rearranged to give this. Well, uh, what we've got to do is we've got to think ahead. Can you see there's an x cubed here? We've got two x cubed here, but that's on the other side, the same side as the three. And can you see the three here? And divided by 4, so we're probably going to keep this bit on its own. So let's rewrite the equation with 4x on its own, keep the 3 on the right, but let's take off the 2x cubed. So what I'm going to do now, to get x on its own, I'm going to divide everything by 4. So just going up here, I'm going to say that x is equal to, and I'm just going to simplify. 3 divided by 4 is 3 over 4, 3 quarters. 2x cubed over 4, 2s are going to cancel from here and here. That's going to give me minus x cubed over 2. And that's what they ask us to show. x given us here. And then the last bit, starting with x here, we've got to use these scientific calculators here. Um, so starting with x naught equals naught, use the iteration formula x n plus 1 equals 3 quarters over x n cubed over 2. It tells us to start with x naught equals naught. So to find x1, I'm going to set this up and I'll show you how to do this in a second. Um, um, yeah, so we're going to start with, we're going to put it to here, it's going to be 3 quarters minus the previous answer, which is x0 cubed, and then we divide the answer by 2. I'm just going to pause this, and I'm going to load up the scientific calculator, uh, and I'm going to show you how to touch the calculator, and then just, you just have to put it in a couple of times and then write the answers down. Okay, so bear with me. Okay. So I'm just grabbing the calculator. 
so this is a big giant scientific calculator. Uh, and it's kind of similar to the Casio ones, and it kind of works in a similar way. So the first thing we'll do, let's just clear everything. First thing we need to do is put nor in our first answer. So we push nor, and then equals, and then it's stored it. And what we want to set up is we want to set up this formula here. Let's just uh, set up the xn plus 1 formula. Uh, let's just have it like that. So on setup, uh, find out what the answer is going to be. Three quarters minus, and then we want the second fraction. And on the top, we want the answer, the previous answer, cubed, and then the answer two on the bottom. So now this is this, and all we have to do, the first answer we put in is naught. If we push equals once, we get three quarters. So the answer here is first one is three quarters. If I just get the calculator back up, all I've got to do now, because I've set it up, it's now going to put this answer automatically back into this. So uh, I'm going to push equals and I get 69 over uh, 1 to 8, which is a decimal is 0 0.539062 plus. So I've got that written down on my paper here. So I'm just going to put that in. So that would be x. So like that, x2. So it was whatever showed us on our calculator. Check it on yours. 0.539062. And to get the next answer, this is the third time we're going to go through it. Let's get the calculator back up again. And all we've got to do is push equals. And again, this number now goes into this answer, which is what we want. That's the iteration. Push equals again, and we get that decimal. So you can check that in your calculator. And I'm going to just type it in here, uh, one. So an estimate, so it says we're going to use it three times. The more times we do it, we keep putting this answer and keep pushing equals on our calculator, we could eventually get to the answer, and I'll show you that in a second, in this case, it just wants us to do it three times, which is what we've done. This was the start. Once, two, I suppose you could call this 0.75. That was the first answer, second answer, third answer. So this is an estimate. 6716773531. So that's the question done. But just out of interest, if we wanted to get a better answer, what we do is we just keep pushing equals. We'll just keep pushing it, and then eventually we're going to get the calculator that's going to give us an answer. It's going to get closer and closer to one single answer. Uh, and you see it's not changing very much at the moment. 6685. Uh, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Now, basically every time I push it, I'm going to keep, basically I'm spamming, spamming the button. And I just get, so this is actually a really good um, uh, answer for the actual solution to the uh, equation at the beginning. When we said it was between 0 and 1, we didn't know what it was, and this is actually it. Now, for this question, we didn't need to do it. We only need to push the answer button. Once we've set it up three times, we get one, two, three answers. But we could keep pushing it, and that would give us a really good, accurate solution to the original equation that we've rearranged. Okay? That's it. I'm going to leave it now.